Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set the default export file format in Canva. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Canva web application, which of course I've done right here. And then the next thing that you would want to do is to open up a design so it can take you to the Canva editor. Now, recent designs, and I'm going to open up one. So this is my editor. So I like to call this the editing suite because it kind of sounds that way. <laughs> so all my elements are loading up and once they are done, we're going to get right into it. So why do you set the default export file format? It's so that the setting it to default so that Canva will always remember that export file format you know, whenever you are exporting. So that you won't have to go through the stress of entering a file format manually each time you want to design. Now, this is mostly applicable to people who have like, who, who design um, using specific templates. If you have one template, or let's say you designed, you created a preset, all right, and you want to just work with that with the same export file format whenever you're in Canva, and you don't want to just like literally stress yourself to keep on entering the file format manually. Here's exactly what you can do to set that to default. Head over to the top right corner of this editing suite and click on share. Now, once you click on share, you're going to see a couple options here. So this is, we have the collaboration link. You can access to share the design. Plus you have the template link, present, present and record, public view link. And then you have download you even have more options all right so there's like more options social save method oh a lot of options so i'm gonna get back up all right so this is up and i have this option that says download this is like an extended option okay so click on download and that's going to take you right here to the download window now here you have five type of course which is the export file format. So if you click on this drop down menu, you're gonna see a host of file formats. Now you can either choose JPG, all right. You can either choose this, all right. Yeah, so this this is an animated text. I'm just gonna hit onto the MP4. So going back right here, so you can either choose JPG, you can either choose PNG or you can choose PDF is standard for all of those things you'll see them there so JPG best for sharing PNG best for complex images and illustrations PDF standard is best for documents and emailing PDF print best for printing SVG available to the pro users I hear you all best for web design animations and they have the PM MP4 video high quality video of course you have the GIF the so canvas suggesting this, which I'm going to like go with. So let's say if all the design content that I am creating or that I will create in the future will all be exported in this file format and before video. If I want to set it to default, all I just have to do is to click here. You see this really sweet box that is here that says save download settings. If you toggle that on, it's going to show purple. That means you are setting this to default. All right, so click on download and you're gonna see that that stuff is gonna be downloaded. So this has been downloaded or it's downloading, whatever it is. So it's pretty much downloading. So let's wait a couple while for this to download and then we're gonna see if it's going to be set to default when we try to, you know, download another design. Okay, it's coming right up. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Go, 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 go. Yes! So that's all for that. So let's say I want to tweak this by deleting this. 
and i want to thank you so much thank you so kindly let's see i want to design i want to you know download this again i just click on share again head over to download and just click on download <laughs> so once you click on download it's just going to be it's just going to download using this export file format so you don't need to change it because you have already saved download settings so that's pretty much it is how you can set it to the default i can go back to the tower from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done 